So Angular provide the useful tool that is called the chain detector reference and it has several function by using those we can manually check for the changes and attach, reattach, mark for check etc on the component. So we have got the instance of chain detector reference and we are using the on push strategy and along with on push if you have muted an object then we have to trigger the events on ng on changes and ng do check so let me just mutating this object and now it is not updating the reference so it is not working that we have already seen on previous video it is calling the events but it is not updating the values on the child component so it is mu now muted the object and not referencing on the child component and what if we want to get the change even after mutating the object we have to mark for the check doesn't matter we are using on push strategy and on ng do check we are marking for check manually now let's see it is now updating the value as on ng do check that is getting called we have manually marked for check now when we are using the default strategy so it is now checking the value always and now let me comment this line and let me just detach the chain detector and see what will happen on the constructor we have detached the changes so it is not even updating the initial value and when we are clicking even it will not work as the chain det detector has been detached there is another way to detect chain detection once for the current component and all its children this is done using detect change method this method run chain detection for the current component view regardless of its state which means check may be disabled for the current view and the component will not be checked during following regular chain detection run let us implement the detect changes we have already implemented the detach we have detached the changes now this method is getting called now we are uh, applying the detect changes over here so now this method is getting called one time on the very starting so we are applying the detect change so it is updating the initial value on the constructor we have detach the changes and on ng on changes we are detecting the changes so it is getting the value on the very starting so what if we are calling this method on the ng do check so this method is getting called every time now let's see when we are clicking on increment button so now it is updating the values because we have applied the detect change on ng do check now if we have suppose that detach the changes and on ng on changes we are applying the method reattach so on the constructor we have detached the chain detector mechanism and on ng on changes we are reattaching the same thing so it will work normally that it was working so this is how it is working and these methods are getting called and make the functions work so that's all